See I've Whoa. Whoa. He is so close. Wait a minute. I think I might see him. Is that him? Yes, it is. I don't have anything that can shoot at that range. I might be able to get him at this distance. I don't know. We'll see. Ah, oh, perfect. Perfect. No collar, nothing. <laughs> Dang, on. Dula would be proud, man. He would be proud. Sit still. So is it hot and pepper yet? Not yet. Got him. Alright. Now, remember that in order for these rabbits to count for this mission, they have to be unspooked. Right. Okay. Did I? I don't think he suspected a thing. No, he looked, he looked like he was just doing his thing. Now, there was one that came out, and I shot... And just as I shot, he took off, and I hit right at the ground and behind him, and it spooked him back to his hole. Yeah. Now, one of, the things, one of the things to be aware of is, is if you hit one of these guys as they're going into the hole, they can make it into their hole before they die, and you'll never see that rabbit again. Mm. Okay? Though a lot of times, that's why I like the air rifle because a lot of times if you hit them and they don't die and they dive into the hole, they'll pop out another hole. So if you hit one and he, and he disappears in the hole, don't be surprised if he pops out another hole with your arrow sticking out of him. Okay. Have you tried the uh, sh uh, hunting these with the bow or the crossbow? Yeah, I've, I've hunted them with the bow. I haven't hunted them with the crossbow. I've mostly used my uh, air rifle. Okay. Because... Like it's like I say, if I if I need to, I can make I can literally make hundred yard shots with it. Right. I've got a I've got to go like like five mil dots down on my scope to do it, but the scope's got mil dots like your like your crossbow scope. Yeah. All right. Well, I'd suggest that that you run out and collect them. If if you shoot and you don't see another one within within a minute, usually there there's going to be a little lull and you can yeah just walk out there blatantly because. If you if you start creeping out there, basically you'll have rabbits come in while you're creeping, and you'll panic them. So, yep, you're dead on 23 meters away from me. Okay. All right, there you go. I'll a, go. A 1690, and the harvest value of 100. Awesome. That means he he had no idea what hit him. Perfect. What's best for the colonies? Objective: harvest an unspooked female. There you go. Within a distance of thirty meters. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. And I believe I believe now you also have to get a male, isn't it? Uh yeah, I believe. I believe so. Ooh, I got her right in the face. <laughs> well, Ouch. If you, if you can do it, headshots are best because a, head, a headshot will always take them down. What? 
Can you shoot that one? There's one near me. No joke. Yep, I just put him down. He was he was behind you. What's cool is when you're taking your trophy shot, I think that you actually become invisible to the animals. That must be true because I've had him walk. I mean, like, really close. Yep. It's right through his snout. I, I'm, you've got to see this picture. <laughs> it's crazy. I hear another one. Nope, that's me. Oh. I was walking over to collect this fella. Oh, wait, there's there's one here somewhere. Yeah, it didn't sound like you. It sounded more like a hop. <laughs> yeah, he must be closer but, to you than me. But I didn't know that, that uh, he was under 30 meters. But yeah, that was... I was kind of surprised by the size of that one. They go up to about 20, 2,500. So that was a, a pretty decent rapid. Mm-hmm. That was that was one of the the Bugs Bunny cartoons as well with with the guy who who said rabbit like that, but I don't remember what the shtick was. Oh yeah, Bugs Bunny always had some shtick going on. <laughs> yeah. Then there was the king who wanted his horse and pepper. Oh, where's where's my lunch? Where's my dinner? <laughs> I want horse and pfeffer. <laughs> horse and pfeffer? What's horse and pfeffer? <laughs> you know, the only thing is, this horse and pfeffer tastes surprisingly like carrots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that. I love that. Alright, guys. They'll probably be quiet for a minute now that we've been, you know, messing around their area. I suppose it probably makes him feel a lot cooler. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that little bugger's just sitting right there. I think I think it's a male, but I I'm can't I can't get a, a spot on him. He's just is he just too far out? Yeah, he's he's 45 meters out. I'm gonna zoom in on him see if it if it'll tell me whether he's a male or female. God bless it, I can't see him. Yeah, it's a little female. Little female out at 45 meters. It's the one you shot. It's got your crossbow bolt through his ear. Uh, are you kidding me? No. There he stood up. Now, do you see him? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I wish I had band the cam up. I'd, I'd record that. That's so funny. You've opened your own, own ear piercing parlor. <laughs> That's funny. Yep. <laughs> eh. Eh, maybe I should. Just hilarious. There she goes. Yeah, I'm hoping that it'll, a lot of times they'll go out and then they'll work their way back in. So basically, she came out of one of the burrows off to the right. Even though she went in that burrow over there, directly in front of her. That's why I say the burrows are interconnected. Yeah. Not sure where she went now. Oh, there oh, she is. There she is. Yep, she's moving back in. Come on, girl. Get in within... Get in within... She's got to be at least 40 out there, though. Or 35. She's probably just... She's at 34 meters right now. Of course. Four more meters. As... In fact, it looks like she may have two crossbow bolts in her. Eh. Yeah, I think I think she does. I think she has has two of them in her. Good God! She does. She's got one through her body and one through her ear. The hell's keeping her alive? She probably won't last long. I've got I've got a dead on shot on her with. Oh, you hit in front of her. So you you if you get just a little bit to the right. I, so I'm looking at her through the scope. Okay, she's, she's behind a rock. Yep, she's moving in. She's moving in. She's she's standing up. She is now within range, and she's right behind that bush. Did I get her? You know, I honestly don't know because she's she's down behind the bush. I don't see a red dome. Yeah, I don't either. 
but I don't think she went into the uh, burrow. I think she's still back there, right behind that bush, which is uh, 27 meters. Nothing. Huh. Hmm. I, wonder, I wonder if there's a burrow inside that bush. I'm going to have to check it out now. That's got me curious. But yeah, she had the one, the one bolt through her ear and the other bolt through her side. So I must have accidentally pegged her when she went in the first time. But I didn't think I was close. Okay. Yep, there's a burrow right here. Daggone it. Okay. Yep, yep. She's She ducked. It's right behind that bush. Okay. I figured the fact that, that, she, that she vanished meant in something of the sort. Oh, man. But she'll be back. <laughs> She's gonna have three bolts in her now. So. Dead on twenty meter rabbit, now moving off. To the I right. see her. Uh, shoot, she's now you. And now she's behind the bush, bush, so I can't tell where she went. She probably. Went. God bless. She's a loose little shit. Sorry. I, I think you got her because I just saw a red dome. Okay. Yep, you got her. She's down. All right. Good. Okay. This one I've got to see. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna be. Chuck Norris rabbit. Three bolts to put her down. Wow. Yeah. Good. Well, your bolts are all, all tweaking and stuff. Wow, she's just full of... What the heck is going on there? One, two, three, four... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five... I see six crossbow bolts. You have got to be joshing me. No, and none of them are in her, so I'm sure that, that they're they're tweaking. So you must have hit her with three or something, but... Yeah, that's that's nutty. That's funny as hell. <laughs> 1602, not bad. Oh no, that's that's a good score. That's that's above average. That's above average. But yeah, that was one tough rabbit. That's the <laughs> toughest rabbit I've ever seen. My lord. All right, let's get. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a trophy shot for this because this is one that I gotta remember. Funny. Now I wish I knew where the next set of burrows was, because if we shifted over to the next set of burrows, we'd, we'd probably have a lot of activity. But. Usually they're within a hundred meters, but they could be in any direction, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, I finally got that booger. <laughs> she was a, a. She was a challenge. <laughs> yeah. One. Said, feed me rabbits. All the rabbits you can feed me. I love me rabbits. <laughs> He's a hoss and pfeffer lover. Where the mm -hmm. heck? Come on, dude. Take a look here. So, you know, I mean, he was a good, he was a good 150 yards out. So, it'll, it'll take <coughs> a little bit to get here. A lot of times when they're real far out, I'll start calling, standing up the first couple of calls, and then I'll lay down because it seems to make them carry farther. There you go. Figure if we both get calling on him for a second here. Yeah. Because he'll read that as two separate calls near each other. Might entice right, him a little. Yeah, you should probably go back to your pistol now. All right. Because with us both calling, that should have got him moving in our direction. <laughs> Meanwhile, the rabbits are are going. Oh my God! What's happened to Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna pause and listen to see if he gives us a bark. Because sometimes, if you're calling and you stop calling. Then all of a sudden they'll give their bark. Yeah. Get back down here now. 
I don't know, if he doesn't come basically within the next minute, he's not going to come at all. Yeah. That's all right. He's being nervous. Nervous Nelly. Usually he'll have been here by now. Yeah, I don't see anything. All right, I'm going to I'm going to come up to a crouch since I'm in my uh camouflage so I can get a look out there. Cuz sometimes they'll come up within a certain distance and then they'll stand and they'll watch for a while. Sign of him out there. No, I think he's for some reason or another just not going to come. Well, I need to get to bed anyway. Uh, better. Oh, there he is. Holy Wait Christ. a minute. Straight up, straight up. He's, stand, there, he's just passed behind a bush. I'm going to get prone again. I got to get prone again. There we go. Okay, um, he is. Ah, oh, crap. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna mark him with the hunter mate. Okay, he's he's basically straight out from you. I think you've got to actually back up a tiny bit again. You're pointed at the ground again. There you go. Now you should be able to see him. He's practically straight out. There's the bush that the that the rabbit. Nice shot. There you go. Got him. Right. Good. Perfect. Deal. Perfect. It was Perfect. Like, it was like I said. Sometimes they they'll stand back and they'll and they'll watch for a little while. Good shot. Let's hope this is your mail. Yeah, really. I'm not running very fast. If that's it, then I'm done getting the, the foxes. Oh, yeah, I already got... Did you... Okay, I think this might be a male here. He's got the right color for it. See how his ears are black? Yeah. Perfect. And a little point here? Yep. It's a male, and he's 11.4 kilograms. Way there you go. perfect size. Let's see, that's what I was talking about. The females, their ears are, are rounder and lighter. And, and um, see how his tail is also lighter? The dark yeah. part of his tail is a bit lighter? Yep. Yep. Good deal. Well, that's cool that you got that squared away. Yeah, really. Awesomeness. Get his little head up. Huh, that's an interesting pose. <laughs> wow, he is a big one. You know, that's... I got a, got a feeling that... Uh, let's see, what did he score? He scored 25.13. That's that's definitely in the upper two-thirds. He's a heck of a fox. I was going to say, they were saying 8.5 is what they were looking for, and he was 11.4. Yeah. He is quite literally a desert fox. Alright, I'm going to hang out with my, with my air rifle and, and whack a few more bunnies if they're willing to poke their noses out. Okay. Just to see if I can take care of the bunny part of things over here, but I'm glad I'm glad you got your, your foxes out of the way. Yeah, me too. I just got to get the the uh, male rabbit, and then I can move on to Vilde, Valdebar and try to get them there. And I think we have to get cottontails somewhere, but I'll have to check. Yeah, yeah uh, there, there's uh, got to get cottontails and, and got to get euro rabbits. I believe it's two of each. Yeah, I think that's right. Yep. So this. That we hunt mule deer. Okay, I'll go look in there then. Yeah, now that I know how to do it, that should make it easier. <laughs> yeah, because the burrows, the burrows basically for both kinds of rabbits look pretty much basically the same. And what I might do this time is bring, if you're not there, well, even if you're there, I'll uh, bring my blind with me. Yeah. And just yeah, kind of camp out. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Now that I know this spot, in fact, 
that's probably what I'll do is I'll probably jump to camp and then run myself back over here and set up my blinds just so I can try to get this taken care of. Yeah. Because now that we've knocked down a few of them, there's not going to be as many appearing and they'll be a little more skittish, so. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, cool. Got a to hunt. Me too. I uh, guess I will see you later. And you take it easy, as always. <laughs> and I'll take it anyway I can get it. <laughs> I got yours. Good night. Good night.